he's trying to find a wire. Because this fiber is supposed to be on a wire. And I thought this fiber is supposed to be bigger than a 72 count. It looks like it's a 72 count here. Right here, 72. Put it in roughly 2008. So I thought it was bigger than the 72. I gotta double check the print. So now I gotta find a wire that goes that direction. This wire, this type of wire, is not locating wire. Oh, this wire is terrible. It's not even a trace wire. It's just a piece of wire. So I got two going the other direction. I'm supposed to have one going that direction. So, what's going on here, I, I bet you one of these fibers loop to go the other direction. So folks, when you look at these fibers, it's going out one side of the wall. It's good possibility that this fiber might turn and go that, go that way, make a big bend. So I bet you any amount of money, the screen wire is probably my wire I'm looking for. And it's cut. Green wire is cut. Mule tape, no wire on it. What the hell's going on here? So my green wire is way down there. I'll be back. So I got 28, and it looks like it bypasses the manhole. So there you go, folks. So it does, out of this manhole, it does do a loop. So just because it's going the other way, doesn't mean it's going that direction. So what happened, they just made, they just core one hole, they just core holes on the west side of the wall, and they got this fiber out, bending, and going out that direction. So, never assume you see fibers going out one direction out of the manhole, that that's, it's going that direction. Because in this case here, you see it, it looped out of the manhole, and it's heading this direction here. You guys all done? Oh, never. Hey, come on, man. Here's this one. Who knows what it hit here? Any unknowns? So what I'm gonna do, go past this manhole right here, do a sweep out here where it's not congested. You can see where everybody marked all congested out here.
So we got a shitty tone here, reading 12 feet. And whoa, it's right here. So this one here, 26 milliamps. And a, and a good response and null. Good return, good response. And nothing really over there. So, my target point's right here, 20, I'm losing milliamps fast. So let's dot it out and see where it takes me. Oh, the noise went down. Hope you guys can hear me now. Oh man, paint on the lamp. Thank God the lamp's coming out. So I'm getting 32 back at seven feet. And it's more over here now. They had to mark there, but it's over here more. That's why you gotta go slow, guys, with these deep fibers. You can miss mark it. It's getting a lot of resistance on this line. Uh, eight feet, but I'm getting 38 milliamps back. That's good response. Good return back. So now I'm getting 12 feet, 10 feet, 35, 36, pretty good. Now I'll see how my no response is. It's more over here. The no. The problem is with null, when the fiber is that deep, it's hard to know. You know, right here I'm getting 11 feet. But I'm reading my returns, 40 milliamps. Not bad. These, this crew's out here. Looks like they're about there. They cut the gas service off this building. One less thing to locate. cold out today folks I don't know what happened to fall but it looks like we missed fall and went right into winter
this guy come from? Look at this. This guy almost ran me over. What's wrong with this driver? It just sits there. Yeah, these are the guys in my last videos out here, or my last short that hit the fiber that was out here. The fiber was down here where they hit it. So let's go look at the hole, see what else they hit. And you can see right there, they hit another coax cable. Over there you can see it's damaged. And you can see it's marked. These guys are something else. These guys have no respect of the utilities whatsoever. All right, there's a print discrepancy, so we're gonna see. He's way down there. We're gonna see if he's on, if the fiber's in here. The print shows two, but he's saying there's three fibers out here. So we're gonna look. I'm gonna have him pull on and see if this fiber moves. So we're gonna see if that fiber moves in the handhold. If it is, that's our fiber. If it doesn't, then we have three. Oh, it moves. All right, so that's our fiber. Yeah, this one moved. So this is our fiber that he's looking for. So, so the print's right. There's only two out here, not three. He was saying there's three out here, but it wasn't. This one, this one moved. So I don't know what this, this guy is talking about. He's nuts. Yeah, so the print, print's still wrong. So we have a number third fiber kit. Comes out of this manhole here, handhole here. Comes this way, bypass that handhole, and goes into this, into this duct package here. So we got that fiber coming in here, looping around. We got that fiber way down there, coming here, hitting this handhole. And from that handhole, this one curves and hits this manhole. The third one, the third fiber, is out here, going straight across. So there is a print discrepancy at this corner, because we do have three fibers here, and the print's all messed up. So there's two fibers going that way. You got three here, two coming in, and one bypasses, going that, that direction. So if this is a damage waiting to happen, if you don't have an experienced experience technician, even if you have an experienced technician, a damage might happen out here with this fiber because the prints are messed up. And you can see right here, this is where Crown Castle did the repair or they connect the dock and ran a new fiber from here across the, across the road over there. Yeah, these guys, if you don't want to project, are reckless. They're nothing but reckless. And they came across here into a man where they tied in. It's right here. This is where they tied in, right here. These guys are something else. These guys have no respect of the utilities whatsoever. They're lucky they missed that fiber. You see where the white paint is accurately marked. And you can see this whole project been marked out. I don't know why they keep hitting shit. They had a vac truck out here. But apparently the vac truck didn't do a good enough job. So let's go see if these guys hit anything over here. Which they're famous, famous for hitting shit. So it looks like they got the fiber exposed.
18 p dog. This guy he ain't doing nothing but a sit in the truck. He don't care. They got this fiber open. So they hit one cable and missed the eighteen T duck. He's doing good. He's doing good. Him. He missed that duck. All right, folks. We're all done with this video. Please give me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And then catch you on the next one. Oh, well, looks like they didn't hit nothing over here. They found this fiber. Man, these guys are dangerous.